Now we are going to create this very top trim on top of the window. So the way we're going to do that is just a regular cube. So build up a cube and let's uh, move it towards the window. And let's just bring it all the way up. Let me actually go to the front view. Now let's scale this guy out and just bring it over to where it looks. And let's just scale this down. Uh, let me take a look back at the reference. All right, as you can see, uh, it's almost like a, a little st stairway kind of going down. It's also, it seems like it's angled in towards the window and it's uh, a little wider on top and it's also further out over the window. So let's uh, keep all these things in mind when we build them. Uh, this needs to be a little bigger because it's going to be over a window a little bit higher and get this it's this one is a little wider because it's over and then it's gonna angle towards our window here so I think that's good all right I think that's good now we select our face and we are going to extrude down once about here. Now I'm gonna use the insert edge about three times and uh, yeah F at this point it's gonna create a little uh, bevel a little like a half circle. So let me select the vertices and we're gonna kinda move them in at this point and print this down and I'm gonna extrude I'm gonna extrude this very top face there you go now let's take a look at it yep okay it's looking good let me take a look at our reference kind of that's why it's so important to have good reference because you can always look. And I don't. I should have traveled to New York City. I love that place. And maybe stay in a hotel. You know, anybody want to pay 600 bucks to stay in an awesome hotel? Uh, I'd love to. So maybe after we model this, we can call up Plaza Hotel and say, Hey guys, we just uh, modeled your champagne bar. Mind, mind uh, giving us a room for a night? That'd be awesome. I'm going to select my vertices up on top and just squish them in a little bit. And I'm going to do that. to all of these and one more time and I'm probably going to bring these guys down just a tiny bit more uh, let's take a look how it looks alright not bad I think the top this verse is a bit too much out yep so let's bring this down so it creates kind of our natural curve that's good. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks much better. And let me scale this down a tiny bit and raise it up because I want to extrude this one more face on the bottom here. I want to extrude it down. Yeah, that's good. Now let me take a look at the front view. Now, uh, overall, 
I want to make sure that this object, this border is on top of, of our window. So I'm going to kind of scale this down, make sure it's it sits pretty much up, up on top. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So we push this guy in. We look from the side. Yep. And at this point, we are we are done with the top. So what you want to do now is just take this guy and just duplicate it across so it sits on every window pane. We are building a little AC heater uh, underneath the windows that you can see right here. That's what we're going to concentrate on and begin select and face underneath each window and we are going to select all these faces and we're gonna extrude we're gonna extrude them inside we're gonna scale them in and for some reason this particular face is not doing what I want it to do so what I'm gonna do I'll just um, uh, I'm gonna concentrate just on these three and then I'll, I'll finish up the other one but for you if you're following along yours should work just fine I don't know why that one is messing up acting up on me so we're gonna do these scaling this way and then we're gonna scale them inside this way then what we're gonna do is we're gonna extrude one more time press G and we're gonna scale this in. Not too much. Now, what we um, now let me do this one individually. I'm gonna do the same thing. In and and see if it matches. Yeah, it's close enough. A little bit up. Okay, and then I'm gonna extrude one more time and push this guy in. And if I want to be exact if I can see how, how it lines up with the rest of them. So it's pretty good. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the faces. I'm going to select these outer faces again. I'm going to extrude them out. And I'm going to make sure that I'll have 16 polygons, uh, 16 faces total. So that's the, I want to be checking this number of faces, 12 so far, which is good. Cause sometimes you select a face that you don't need to extrude, and you want to be paying attention to the number in here. So now I'm going to extrude them out. Extrude just a tiny bit out not too much just so we get nice little little detailed geometry alright looking pretty good now what I'm gonna do one more uh, one more thing is I'm gonna bevel these edges bevel and I know that's too big 0.003 seems to be good and I'm going to do the same thing for the inner edge bevel 0.03 on the offset and it's good and I'm going to repeat the same function for these edges and I'm also going to do the same thing on these three 0.03 